Hello guys. Welcome to maybe the beginning of my face journey vlog. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm going to upload this vlog. I might keep it to myself for a while, but just in case I do end up sharing my experience, um, at least I'll have this. So right now I am going to get my um, medical clearance physical for the jawline procedure. It's called the weekend neck lift because um, it's not as serious, I guess, as a regular neck lift. Um, but it's like it's like a mini neck lift, um, and it's just to help pronounce the jawline. Um, oh, this is a really pretty shape. So right now I am going to get a medical clearance because I need that um, before I can go in and hopefully I get cleared and then I will have a surgery in like a week and a half and if I do get cleared I will see. All right guys, it is officially the day before my surgery. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will link it down below. And then I really want to clean the house. It's I wouldn't classify it as like a disaster just quite yet, but it's, it's, it's getting there. Um, and I really want to like wash the sheets and like just come home from my surgery tomorrow and just have everything just be very calming, you know? And then later on today, I have to take a bath, scrub off all of my self tanner, um, and then wash my hair, blow dry my hair and wake up and then surgeries in the morning so hello guys so it is the morning of the surgery um, I did in fact wake up at 4 I set my alarm for like 4 45 last night or this morning um, but I actually woke up at like 4 10 um, and was like I'm I don't know why I just like woke up but I was like you know what why don't I just eat this now turn off the alarm and then just like sleep as long as I can um, so I did eat a Lara bar and a banana. I didn't eat the other one, um, the RX bar or whatever it's called, just cause I, I was sleeping, you know, but it is 10 30 right now. So I have 15 minutes left to chug water or any liquids, um, any, or any clear liquids, but I am just doing water cause I'm a water fanatic. Uh, so I have drank two of these already today. I woke up around like nine, drank one, I drank one at 10 and now it's like 10, like 35 and I'm going to chug this one and then I won't be able to have any more water until after the surgery. Um, I did just get my COVID test back, which I'm so happy about because that was the only thing that I was like kind of stressing about because that means I would have to like go to Culver City which I mean, it's not far, it's like 10 minutes, but I would have to go to Culver City um, for make an appointment, go to Culver City, get a COVID test, wait there for the COVID test. And it's just like kind of stressful on a day that like should be no stress, no additional stress, I should say. Um, so I am really happy about that. I got that email at like 9.45 and I was like, oh, thank God, because if I didn't get it by 10 o'clock, I was gonna schedule an appointment and go. But now I just have the entire like rest of the three hours to just like chill, hang out. I'm going to shower, wash my hair, and then, yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. So, um. all right, I took a shower and then they actually called me and they were like, Dr. Tolly finished with one of his surgeries early. So can you come in like an hour and a half early? So we're actually on our way there. It's 12 o'clock and um, yeah, super excited. This is my outfit. I'll show you guys later. So they just told me not to wear any jewelry. They also told me to wear um, shoes that are comfortable to like slip on and off, but not sandals. Um, and then also I didn't put anything like on my face or anything. And my face is so dry normally. Like it's unbearable to like, rinse my face and then not put anything else on it so my skin is literally like 
it feels like sandpaper. That's how dry my skin is. I'm not really nervous, which is kind of crazy because I thought that I was going to be. I just think that I've hated my side profile for so long that it just like this couldn't come soon enough, you know? Like I'm just really excited and this is my wedding gift to myself. So I'm really, really excited. Um, also, I don't have my Invisalign in. I probably will put it in um, tonight. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And I will see you guys when I'm in there. I wasn't nervous until right now. How are you? Good is Dan. Hey. Hi. Hi. You think that I'm amazing? How are you? How do you feel? Um. All right, guys, so I am out of surgery. I don't know how long it's been to come out of anesthesia, but they took good care of me. I was naked. I'm just sleepy. These are my dreams. And I will be talking to her. Uh, I'm a little cold. Doing a little uh, puree here for Blakey. She's got a little berries and a little banana. She can't open her mouth very wide. Big burps. Stay there. All right. If someone comes for me for my raspy voice, I swear to God. Everyone's always like, oh, you have. What is it? Vocal fry. I'm allowed to have vocal fry this time. So it is the morning after. It's 7 25. Um, I didn't vlog a whole bunch last night only because. It was a little bit hard to talk and also um, by the time we got home it was dark and I didn't want to like have a bunch of lights on so sorry about that. Um, um, what did I eat yesterday babe? Uh, applesauce. Oh yeah we postmated applesauce. How did I forget applesauce when we were at the grocery store? Like I love applesauce and applesauce is like the best thing to have when you have like a sore throat and just like when you're taking your medicine. But I had, oh no, I, I started off, cause I was, I was hungry, I hadn't eaten. And although the anesthesia doesn't make you very hungry, <laughs> I needed a little bit of food so I could take the pain medicine. Um, so I started off with um, kind of like a smoothie in a bowl and I was eating it with a straw. Um, I didn't have any, we didn't have any like milk in there or anything, did we? Uh, a little bit of oatmeal. Uh, we did. I did a tiny bit, so it was uh, like easy to swallow. Um, and then, um, and then, bag of cheese. yeah, and then, okay, so I started off with a little bit of smoothie in a bowl, and I ate it with a little spoon. Little spoon is clutch because um, you can get it in your mouth, and you also don't want to be having like big bites. Um, and then 
I took some pain medicine with my applesauce and that was also parched. And then I, um, I tried to fall asleep. At that point, it was probably around like nine o'clock. And I tried falling asleep. Uh, I'm trying to like try these drains a little bit. That didn't really work. So that, so I tried falling asleep around like nine a. So I tried falling asleep around nine p.m. because um, I knew I had to wake up early for this appointment to get all of this taken off. Um, but something about me is that like if I'm like excruciatingly hungry, like my body won't let me fall asleep. So. Um, I tried falling asleep for like an hour and nothing was happening. We even put on like meditation, calming stuff on the TV. It was not happening. Uh, so John made me some of the uh, macaroni and cheese that we got at the store. And then I took another half of my pain pill and I actually put on this brown noise um, on Spotify. It was like a two hour sleep brown noise and I passed the fuck out. Um, I only fell asleep for about maybe an hour and a half and then I had to go pee. I've been peeing a lot, like a lot more than I normally pee and I drink a lot of water um, and I am up every like hour and a half to go pee. Um, so every hour and a half I've been waking up, I go pee, I come back and then the brown noise on again. It takes me another 15-20 minutes to fall asleep. And then I go to sleep for another hour and a half. I probably woke up about five times in between um, 11.30 and 7.30, which is right now. And uh, I think I'm just going to change my flannel into another flannel. And then I'm going to go and see him. Um, the worst part about the pain. I'm going to try to explain the pain to you guys as best I can. There's like, it feels like there's a lot of pressure inside of my ear. And when I got home, it was like, I would say the pain was like a seven out of 10. And it felt like I had an air pod stuck in my ear, but then also someone punched my ear with the air pod in. But then I had to keep the air pod in for an additional 100 hours after that. You feel me? Um, so that's how my ears feel after i took the pain medicine that went down to about like a three out of ten so that was pretty bearable um and then the other like not so cool thing is that you have to sleep sitting up um so this is how i slept I got a ton of pillows back here and i just slept actually like see i have movement i can like move and everything I kind of slept like this last night. But I had Penelope with me and she was so sweet. She was cuddled with me. And now the brown noise, I cannot recommend that enough. I'm going to be using that every single night, even when I'm not in this, because that should put me to sleep. And I have a really hard time falling asleep. So, um, yeah, obsessed. It's called Brown Noise to Relax and Sleep two hour loop but then i was just listening to this one which is also really good and it is oh this is a white noise one. Oh, oh it's weird because it says white noise but then it says brown noise so maybe they're the same thing i don't know white noise to sleep study and relax rain and thunder That does not in your nightmares. I don't know what will. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How was your night? Hello. Hello. It's okay. As expected. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It's like I I like to fall asleep on the side, so obviously that was a challenge. So you know, I just woke up every like hour and a half or fifteen minutes, and I was like, "Do you have a lot of applesauce?"
case you're wondering if that is uh, 25 to 26 millimeters going in angle depth, you're correct. Okay, because I was actually wondering about that. It is. <laughs> yeah, I knew people were going to ask, so thank yeah. you for... So that's more major than most people can get with an oh, yeah. implant or with jaw surgery or anything. Oh. So I was able to push your parotid glands all the way into the that's air. That's what I do. No, that's what I do. Yeah. Okay. It's a good surgery. It looks so great. Yeah. Well, right now you look weird, but I look it's, uh, but yesterday you looked like at the end you look jealousy inspired. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the jawline was like all, every right. single one of us wants that. Yeah. All right. Look, it's like. Trust me. <laughs> you know, half the time I'm always talking about that. I'm like, who am I going to get to do this on, man? I don't, no, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. You had to. That's your head. Well, in the future, once there, the guy, Mike Nyack, is in St. Louis, so he's great. Okay. Um, and he does it a different way. But if he does it my way, then I'll do it. Okay. Wonderful. <clears throat> Mike Nyack. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to start doing my way with a little thing in the back because mm -hmm. that's what gives you the depth. I like that. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay guys, so I just got out of the LED light stim and then I did the hyperbaric chamber after. Um, my throat is definitely getting a little bit more sore. It's a little bit harder for me to swallow, but look at what the team gave me. Come on. Look at what the team got me. Got me this really beautiful bouquet so sweet they're like the nicest people ever so i cannot recommend them enough but i'm gonna eat something try to get like a little bit of food in my stomach um take another pain pill i think and then hopefully nap for a while but i also have to upload a youtube video so i'll do that too really sore like kind of like i had strep throat and that soreness is like almost all gone away and now i just feel really tight like every time i'm now I just feel tight like underneath here, but my actual inside throat like doesn't really hurt anymore, you know? It's like that went away. So now when I swallow, like before when I would just make like a big swallow, I would have to like prepare myself to swallow because it was very, very tight. Um, but now it's like diminished a lot. I would say before it was like, it's like, I would say it's like 80% better from what it was yesterday. Um, I'm eating, so basically my diet has been macaroni and cheese and applesauce for like the last two days, um, and today I'm having eggs and avocado because I need some protein, um, but last night I slept relatively well, I think. We slept on the couch again, um, and I would say only... I would say that I woke up every two and a half hours versus every like hour, hour and a half uh, the previous night. So that's really good. Today I'm really going to try to up my water intake because yesterday I was really, really bad about it. Probably because of my throat hurting. Um, but I really think that the hyperbaric chamber helped a lot as well because yesterday the swelling just kept going down and down and down. Um, and I don't know if that would have happened. So quickly if I didn't go in that hyperbaric chamber. Other than that, going back in the hyperbaric chamber today and then I don't have another appointment until Wednesday and that's when I will get my secret out. Day three guys, I'm feeling really good. My throat is no longer like sore. Um, obviously I still have to like uh, mimic the way that I talk just because if I do talk for, you know, more than a few minutes, uh, I get a little bit of sensitivity and a little bit of pain underneath my chin area. Um, but 
I'm eating my egg and avocado smash again. And then I also decided to pick up these. Oh my God, I thought that these were called koala. They're called koai protein, vanilla bean, um, plant-based protein shake. Uh, we went for a little walk in the backyard yesterday. Um, we did like 10 laps like back and forth. Um, and that was enough. I started feeling like a little bit run down, which is crazy because I don't know, I don't feel, like my body feels like completely fine. But then like when I do something for more than, you know, a few minutes, I'm like, oof, I gotta lay down. Um, but other than that, I'm feeling good. I just put this thing back on because guys, I don't need it. I, they were like, you literally don't need this, but I look fucking crazy without it. And I don't want to like, I don't like looking at myself without it because like this makes me feel like almost normal. I think that after Mimi tomorrow, I'll still wear it. And then after that, um, the swelling will keep going down, but I need it for a few more days for my own sanity. <laughs> I'm gonna take like a bath today. I don't know if I'm ready for a shower, but I think just like putting some warm water, you know, washing myself because I, I feel kind of gross. Actually kind of shocked when I got my bandage taken off, like literally the day after, like 12 hours after I got it done. And I was like, okay, like when can I take a shower or a bath? Like they were like, you could literally do like any of that right now. And I was like, when can I like wash my hair? They were like, you can wash it today. And I was like, any special shampoo or conditioner? And she was like, no, just like make sure you are just like kind of keeping your incisions a little bit dry. Like what? I wouldn't, uh, I would, I'm not washing my hair for a solid week. Like, no, no, no. I'm not washing my hair until I get my incisions out. And that is a week from when I got it done. Um, I thought that people might want to know like what you think about this and like if you were like on board or not. Um, I think it's, I don't think you needed it and I wouldn't get it if it was me, but it's your life and you can do whatever you want and you're an adult and you didn't make it like a one second decision. You always research stuff and think about it. So I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. But do I think you needed it? Absolutely not. Do you think I'm like crazy and like, did it make you like love me any less? No, I don't think you're crazy. I think you have a altered perception of beauty mm -hmm. just by growing up and what we see in the media and where we live and everything like and that. And my job. Yeah, and that's not, that's not your fault in some Sometimes you can combat it with certain things and sometimes you can't and if you have the means to Change something then okay, you can do it. It's not, it's not a life-threatening crazy thing mm -hmm. um, Yeah mm. But Like okay. so you so you don't like think I'm like crazy. I don't think you're crazy I just don't think you needed it Gonna... But do you agree that I had a weak jawline? No. I think that in the positions that you're in, everybody has a different jawline. And some people, their jaws are different. And to say that somebody oh, has okay. a weak... Okay, do you think I had a weak chin? No, to say that somebody has a weak and it's supposed to look a certain way is incorrect. Okay. There are people with larger chins and people with smaller chins. And the fact that they're making somebody, some thought is making somebody's chin more desirable is crazy to me. Mm. Because somebody, they, what if your chin was more desirable and it was a smaller <laughs> chin, you know? Like it's just, yeah. it's totally the media's perception mm. and how you were, you know, what they throw out there. Yeah. If every single model you ever saw had a small chin, like in different cultures, let's say, yeah, you're right. being tan isn't desirable, being porcelain is desirable. So mm -hmm. it's just all perception. So no, I wouldn't say that a weak, this, that, or the other is correct. I would say that it's more desirable for a certain culture to look like this or that. Mm, okay. Oh, and then one more thing. I ended up not taking the painkiller at all yesterday uh, because it just like wasn't enough for me to want to take it. I didn't take like Tylenol or anything like that because uh, John advised me not to. Um, I didn't take Tylenol or anything, um, but then uh, around 8 p.m. is when I took a full um, painkiller because I really wanted to get a better night's sleep and I also took a half of a sleeping pill and th it was the first time that the painkiller actually worked like sorry <laughs> it was the first time that the painkiller actually like worked and like did a really good job in my opinion I 
was in kind of like, I would say like five out of 10 pain, but it was like a lot of pressure and like it was different. It was like stinging a little bit. Um, and so I took it and then we were watching a movie and like it, it really, really like subsided. So I'm happy about that. So I probably will continue to do that um, today as well or to tonight. Um, I probably won't take one during the day because um, I don't know if I will need it. That's all, the update. All right guys. I'm still in the same sweatshirt. I am gonna take a bath in probably like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna change into another outfit that I'll probably be in for a solid like 48 hours. But John's mom just came and dropped off some flowers. I'm like arranging them right now. And she also dropped off some tea. She is literally the sweetest person in the entire world. I am very, 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 very lucky to have a sweet future mother-in-law like her um she, i mean she probably thinks i'm crazy if she, kathy if you're watching this i hope you don't think i'm crazy i love you um well john just heard me and he's drawing me a bath now ladies if you guys don't get treatment like like you are a princess Drop them. Go to the next person. Someone is waiting to like treat you so well. And you shouldn't be like crying over boys or like anything like that. Like you are the prize. You're probably like, oh damn, this girl is so high up pain medicine right now. I'm not haven't even had haven't even had any today. Also, I would like to say that the pain level today has been like a 1 out of 10. Like, it has not been bad at all. And I have been walking, doing laps in the back just a little bit more today than I did yesterday. Um, so I'm going to try to continue that tomorrow as well. We didn't put bad situation on it either. Alright guys, um, I'm going through something right now. And I don't like it. And I don't wish it upon anyone. Um, I truly don't know how I'm 31 years old and I just learned what constipation was today, but I don't wish it on anyone. I thought that being constipated was just like you not going to going poop like oh like i haven't gone poop in three days like i'm constipated like that's how i would use that term that's not that's not what it is it's it's you having to haven't gone to the bathroom and now you have to go and you're ready to go and you go on the toilet and it does not come out and it hurts really bad and you're like, why is this not working? This is a normal bodily function. Like I can feel it right there. Let's just get it out. It is not. I have been trying to work on this movement for like, I've been trying to work on this movement for like probably a total of like three hours today in the bathroom and it is not working and I'm, I'm sore and I just took some Miralax and I don't know if it's too much TMI, but I'm not, I'm not well. I'm not well. I, I ate chia seeds and I can't even go near the bathroom at this point, guys. Like, I, I, if I go near the, near the toilet, my body like goes into like fight or flight and it's like, let's get this out. Like you're next to the toilet. Like this is what we've been waiting for. And I'm like, no bitch, this is what I've been fucking waiting for you to do because then I sit on the toilet and nothing, it's just so bad. And, and, and that's what I learned today. And I, I just can't believe I never thought that that's what constipation was. What about some tea? That'll probably move something. That's Smooth Move Tea by, uh, I forget the brand, but I used to, I used to use that, like, when I was, like, on vacation and stuff. Oh, two bags is too much. Oh, I don't know, actually. I would just do one. 
but like whenever I would travel, I don't really my 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 system gets messed up, and um, I would bring those just because those are so easy to like travel with, and like you just make them at night, and then in the morning it's just like easy. So let's hope. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I can't. It's making me feel sick. Guys, I know I look fucking crazy, but I'm off the fucking Richter scale, guys. Like I am unwell. John just went. Oh, I can't. John just went to the grocery store and he picked up Miralax, even though I had Miralax. Um, Dolgalax, laxative pills, prune juice, Dolgalax, whatever. Liquid. Pears. My mom said pears work really well. Um, and then magnesium pills or gummies. Bro, I've never never felt pain like this in my entire life and also just to add on top of it i'm 95 percent sure that i just got my period about five seconds ago i'm not even kidding and i'm in white pants too at least it didn't happen in the, in the surgery like you thought mm -hmm. okay. yeah i thought i was gonna get my period in the surgery you have to drink this and then drink this as much as you can I even Googled some John and I for some odd reason we like share like a Google like on our phone. Like whenever I log whenever I go to Safari and I try to Google something, like it says that I'm under his Gmail account, which is really weird. But I even logged out of your thing and I Googled like is it easy to poop in a bathtub? Cause I was like it like People give birth in a bathtub, so I was like, is that like a trick? It was not, people said it's really unhealthy. Yeah, because your feces gets in your, yeah. you're gonna get a UTI on top of everything else. That's what they said. All right. Guys, <laughs> it's the next morning and I feel so much fucking better oh wait john do you think that even because obviously the pain medicine is what was like backing me up um that's what everyone says do you think that these also um a little bit, a little bit but not as much as the i mean i think it all together and not moving yeah i think not moving is probably and eating macaroni and cheese for yeah, most of the yeah. yeah, but basically, John went to the store last night. I, I honestly like blacked out. I don't even remember how much I updated you guys on the situation. But John went to the store last night because I was in, I like no joke. I was in like eight or nine out of ten pain. Like it was it's fucking really bad. bad. Like I've never been in that type of pain before. It's like what I started with actually. So I started with chia seeds, um, but that was like in the middle of the day, and that's when I realized that like something was wrong. Um, because I think that it was starting to make me want to go to the bathroom and it, I just could not So from there I started drinking like one of these cups of water like every 30 or like 45 minutes because I knew water was really good Then I drank a big thing of smooth move tea uh, right here. Then I drank a big thing of smooth move tea that we steeped for probably like 20 minutes or so um, I've used this before. It's really good. I use it on vacations. But, um, again, that did not work. Oh, and then in conjunction with the smooth mood tea, I also did a cap of the Miralax in a glass of water. And all of that, it didn't get things going. So then we had to kick it into overdrive. That's when I asked you guys. And this is what you, know, you guys had a ton of answers. I'll put like a bunch of the stuff in the comments too, because a lot of people, um, a lot of people have are having these issues. So I drink a full glass of this prune juice, and I took 
30 milliliters of this Dolgalax liquid. And I feel like we did one other thing. No, we made another smooth move tea, but I was worried that like, that I was actually going to poop my pants um, because we were like going to bed soon. Um, so that's what we did. I feel like we had one other thing, but I can't remember. I also really didn't eat anything after like the middle of the day when I was having the chia seed pudding because my stomach just hurt so bad that I like couldn't eat anything. Oh, um, so we have our master bathroom and then we have my bathroom that I usually just like get ready in and like do my makeup and it's like, it's pretty small. Like I would say it's, you can take like two steps one way and two steps one way. Um, and I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe our master bathroom has some bad juju going on. Like I'm gonna switch up my location maybe like zen out a little bit and go into the other bathroom. It was absolutely not. I couldn't pace in there. I felt like my head was like gonna go through the wall. I was like, I was like holding on to the, <laughs> to the vanity. Like it was terrible. Make sure you have pacing space. Um, okay, so then I finally was able to go to the bathroom about probably 30 minutes after I did all of this concoction. Right in front of the label. Relief in as little as 30 minutes. I mean, I was relieved, but I wasn't like relieved. Like I, I it still hurt. Um, and then I went again, probably another 30 minutes later. Again, it's still like, it wasn't like, it didn't just happen. I it had to make it happen. And then I went to sleep. I had a little bit of stomach cramping throughout the night. I woke up a few times. I just went pee. And then I just woke up. It's like, mm, it was like 7.30 when I woke up. And then I got out of bed at like eight and I went to the bathroom and I went twice. And so I'm not gonna take the Dokalax anymore because I just feel like I don't need it. The, I don't need it, but um, I am gonna eat some pears, which were another recommended thing and drink a big glass of prune juice, drink a big glass of water and then eat some whole foods. I have some egg and avocado here. And then a little bit later on in the day, I'm gonna take the magnesium citrate and hopefully we'll be back to regular schedule programming. And I'm also not inclined to take the um, pain medicine anymore, because fuck that. I'm done with that. Like the pain that I have in my face, literally like a two out of 10, the pain that I just experienced yesterday, nine out of 10. So yeah, that's my uh, update. Sorry if that was TMI, but if I could help anyone, I would, I, that's my goal. So today I'm gonna try to do about 3,500, if not a little bit more, um, and maybe just go up by like a 500 or a thousand every day, and hopefully that'll be good. Yeah, I also think that that's what was helping my bowel function um, because being stagnant is not good for that. But anyway, I have been rambling on for far too long. My jaw, oh, you know what? I actually just got some AG1 and I feel like that's gonna be really good in helping me with like getting the good vitamins and minerals in. So I'm really excited about that. I will, I've, I've tasted it once before, but I was at Stagecoach and um, you know, it's probably like a real hungover. So I'll do a real taste test for you guys later. You know, I'm gonna take this off just so that like, I feel like I don't have a lot of documentation without this only because, you know, I look crazy. Um, but I feel like I need some documentation so that you guys can like actually see what I look like right now and like how swollen I actually am. Like I just feel like I don't even know who this person is. I look like the fucking moon emoji, like, anyways. I just got shit all out of my shirt. Um, I just spilled this everywhere. I am starting some athletic greens because I thought, you know, I'm not getting enough of my greens in right now anyway. But I slept pretty well last night. Um, might as well do my little face thing right here. 
I really am like it is crazy like the projection that I have I know you guys are probably like what are you talking about because I'm still so emoji moon emoji um but I'm excited so yeah I'm excited and I'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys today I'm getting my stitches out so it's been like officially a week um I just woke up I'm not gonna lie it's like 10 15 we have to leave here in literally like probably five minutes um my hair has never been greasier but we're just gonna go with that um I'm a little bit worried about getting the stitches out just like the feeling of it um so typically you know I'm a hoodie girl like I'm a sweatshirt girly um but instead today I think I'm just gonna wear this Abercrombie, oops, this Abercrombie Traveler's dress because like it has shorts underneath it's like very thin breathable um and um that way I mean I'm gonna put like a hoodie over top of it but that way when I start to feel a little unwell I can you know not be covered with uh clothes and it's also super easy to get on and off I haven't shaved my armpits in so long I'm actually gonna do that really quickly because obviously I haven't like showered that much but yeah this is This is the outfit. It has some shorts underneath and it's like sweat proof, so because I'm gonna be sweating, so yeah. Running your ears under your chin? Mm -hmm. Anywhere else? Uh no, I don't believe no. so. I think there might be some uh, Yeah, like one maybe to the right and the yeah, left. And then yeah. Tiny yeah. Okay. So your jawline, your jaw was it was there. She's I mean she was just underneath a lot of Hiding. So she was hiding. She was yeah. hibernating. Yeah. And, uh, you look normal next week. Okay. Cool. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, but then three months is when the goodies pop up. Okay. So it's like better and better. Alright. So like I'll be able to like film stuff. You'll film like, next week. Next it's week. Fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's when I push everything to left till anyway. Yeah, that was fine. the pain like like the first night it was like a three out of ten just because it was like annoying to have that thing on and like the pressure but then um after i got that thing off it's literally been like a one out of ten nine other than your belly thing oh other than she my got like pain, from the from the pain yeah, 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 i've never really constipated before i've never experienced that i literally didn't even know that was a thing and that was a 10 out of 10 pain, guys. I thought I, was oh, no. I thought I had to go to the hospital. Yeah, it's For pretty painful. I was like, I just got my face cut off, and it's a 0 out of 10 pain, but something that is so common as constipation sending me to hell. Okay. Okay, yeah. Do you like that? I, these are going to be burned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's zero draw because yeah. I measured your depth. Mm -hmm. going Negative. On depth. It was about four millimeters. You ended up with 26, 27. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's from here to here. That's pretty insane. Wow. That's like, so this is what I was lecturing about. And nobody understood it because they don't understand like going on level depth. Mm -hmm. This like, one I feel like is a little bit better than the to other To begin side. with, yes. To begin with, it was. That's your deeper one. This one's your more superficial. That's oh. Wait, that, so this one is better? That was naturally better. Okay, because I, I both, would take pictures. I would try to take pictures on yeah, this side. Yeah. They're, Interesting. They're both deep as shit now. Deep throating. Deep throating. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't yeah. use James, and I was just like, different doctors, different yeah. procedures. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's, it's during any time you lift up the skin, it's to put negative pressure on there, so the skin sucks down faster. Here's 
It doesn't make you believe any cap, does it? Mm-hmm. You can go better. Cool. Yeah. And then why didn't I have to wear like anything, any bandages or anything after the first day? Uh, it only really restricts fluid drainage if you put like tight bandages on. Mm-hmm. I give people loose bandages sometimes yeah. to protect their that's ears. That's what I did. Yeah, that's, just, that's, that's all, just they don't yank on it. Because patients love doing that, even though if you look at my instructions, it says don't pull on your ear. Going live with my friend Blake over here. Hi. So Blake is one oh. week out from uh, neck torture, we call it a weekend lift. So the weekend lift is a combination of doing profound radio frequency skin tightening on the face, but then we do this kind of what I call an internal deep plane neck lift where I make an incision behind the ear, I come down and grab the muscle, pull it up, and I make an incision under there and I go tighten it up. And the cool thing about a weekend lift, do you mind if I show you before photo? Should I hide it? No. Should I hide it? Should I mean, show it? no, we need to show it. We need it. to show. Okay. It's so bad that we need to so show it. So let's get side by side here so you can see. So that is Lake's jawline before, and you can see how there's really no definition there. And if you measure that gonial angle depth, that is about three, four millimeters. And now if you look at her gonial angle depth, it goes all the way in about 26 millimeters. So that's a huge change. And if you see the distance from here to here, they're called the cervical mental distance. It's substantially longer than what it was. Now, most surgeons, when they see this, they're going to jump into doing a chin implant. That is what 99% of them will do. And that's a terrible idea because if you see her teeth are pushing forward there, she has a deep sulcus mentalis, and then she has a rounded chin, and it would look horrible. It would just look stronger and turn into like Dudley Do Right. You're too young for that. But Dudley Do Right was a char- as a cartoon character. So, a Jay Leno chin. Uh, yes, even even stronger. So now you see this was all taken in. Her throat, which was hanging forward, is now back over here. So there's a huge difference, and you can see I'll kind of show all the way around. You can see the depth of that jawline. This is without performing any chin implantation, any jaw augmentation, nothing else. And this is at one week. So now the questions, how do you feel about it? I feel better than when I went in. Yeah. Because five seconds before I went in, I showed him a folder in my phone called jawline surgery and I almost cried because he was like, he was like, we can't do that. And I was like, so you're telling me I'm about to go under in five minutes and you can't do this. And he was like, we'll, we'll do what we can. So but now I feel really good about it. Yeah. Under promise over deliver. So, uh, <laughs> what she was showing me were jaw lines that were not her and this is good. So people always ask me like, does it help you if I show you pictures from my childhood or when I was younger? And does it help you if I show you pictures of other people? And I, and I tell them, honestly, it's only going to help me tell you what you can't get. So it is a nice thing. They show me pictures of their childhood or when they're younger. And I say, I can't do all that. I can't take you back to where you were. I don't know how to do it. I can just take you better from where you are currently. Um, As far as looking at other people's jawlines, I say it's not your structure. It's different bone. I can't do that. But I'm going to do the maximum and give you the maximum that you can get just by manipulating some of that structure, which in this case gave her one inch of depth. That is massive from here to here. So if you see her from the front now, she used to be just a, a face neck. She was like one, because I don't know what to call it. It's like cankles, but like yeah. the, cankles of the neck. Yeah. Um, and I'll show you from the front. And if you see, you'll get it. When you see the front over there, it's just a face neck. The face and neck go in one line. So that's, that's like what, and her left jaw was better than the right one. But now if you see her from the front, look at this depth difference from here to here. And with it's the swelling. In, yeah. Too. Oh, and it's swollen. So this is an inch on each side, which is pretty substantial. So there's no more face neck happening. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she still looks like a little chubby, like fat face because of the profound, yeah. a little sensitive to the profound. So if you didn't do the profound, um, like you look pretty normal. I right look now. pretty normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You look pretty normal right now. But the profound, what it's going to do is really help tighten up that jawline. And the cool thing about her is if you had seen the before photo, that chin looked like it was kind of coming down. It's yeah. not a witch's chin, but it was pushing down. You had an indent next to it. Now it's this like super straight jawline all the way across, uh, which makes it look younger. It makes it look more delicate, more feminine, and it's stronger at the same time. So it's like delicate and stronger. Best of both worlds. Best of everything. Yeah. yeah. So. Next week, so seven days, next week she's going to look nothing just done. Three months is when it really, really kicks in.
is still weekend lift. So weekend lift is what I call profound radio frequency with an internal deep plane neck lift. And it's a very, very cool way of doing it. And all that was done without reducing anything in the neck. So it's kind of crazy when you look at other surgeons, how they have to do it. They have to go reduce a ton of stuff in there. This was done just by manipulating the platysmal muscle, pushing things back in. To manipulate it, you just have to be able to see things first. Most surgeons don't see that. They don't see those kind of lines coming across. So, Wait, so did you do lipo? No. No, no lipo. I've been lying tapping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no lipo. No, you don't need any lipo. So if you did, if you had done lipo on your face, your neck, you would have had bands there earlier in life. Oh wow. Uh, so in five years, you'd say, "What are these bands?" And I'm, uh, you know, so. So that's, that's what lipo does. Um, lipo is good on like people with a lot of fat under their skin. You had no fat, you're, you're thin, you're like this tiny girl. So yeah, you had no fat, but all the deep stuff I just tucked back up and then that stuff took it back in and, and that's it. When you have good anatomy, it was just hidden. I didn't even know how good her anatomy was. So like when I saw her beforehand, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be tough. But uh, you had really good anatomy. It was just hidden, yeah. that's all. You got rid of the, the peel back some layers. Yeah, got rid of the facial cankles. That's all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, we'll do it. Well, so Blake actually has updates on her page. She's been doing this like awesome on TikTok. On TikTok. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's at Blake Healy. Blake Healy one. At Blake Healy one. Yes, one took my Blake Healy. Bastards. Okay, <laughs> at Blake Healy one. So B L A K E H E A L Y. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's interesting. She's got a good follow up on everything. Yeah. So it's a weekend lift, but this is a week later. But I also weekend said lift. that I did lipo, which I did. Sorry, guys. That's okay. <laughs> there's there's lipo contouring, so sometimes I melt a little fat. Okay. So there you go. So that's okay, yeah, that's area. lipo contouring, lipectomy, whatever you want to call it. Cool. Um, all right. We'll follow then, up on all. Did I stuff. do the hyperbaric chamber today? Oh yeah. So she's got the has been doing the hyperbaric oxygen treatment. You've done it twice. twice. Oh yeah. No, Should three. It? No. I've done the, oh yeah, I the LEDs once and uh -huh. then the hyperbaric twice. twice. Yeah. But yeah. should I do it again today or not? Yes. Because of city. Yeah, go do it. Okay. Go do it. Oh, the other thing we did was, yeah, I forgot to show. We, you see how she still looks feminine there? So the way I did that, if you ever lift someone's neck too hard right over here, their Adam's apple pops out. And so she would have also looked like a dude. So we went and grabbed the muscle, put it in front of the thyroid cartilage, which is your Adam's apple. And I pulled your thyroid cartilage back with it. Because it was all the way forward. Your thyroid cartilage used to be here. Uh -huh, That's why you're yeah. connected from your chin to your like chest. It was here. So I grabbed your thyroid cartilage and everything and pushed it back in. That's like the shock, the most shocking thing you've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> like how do you? I've do said that? more shocking things, but yeah. That's <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you avoid the masculinity of a neck. Okay. So Adam's apple. All right. Gone. The more you know. Um, so it's been two days since I got my stitches out and I'm feeling a lot more comfortable washing my face I really wasn't feeling comfortable washing and like putting the skincare that they gave me on It just waked me out the feeling of it all um, But now that the stitches are no longer there. It's I'm not like a hundred percent feeling good about washing it um, But I'm definitely feeling better. So I'm gonna go through my skincare routine that they gave me um, I'm going to be using this Elastin Gentle Cleanser and then just gently wash the face. Ooh, my neck is still really tight, so it's a little bit hard. Ooh, feels fucking weird. I'm just going to like hold it here for a second. My face still feels like like I just injected like a bag of saline into my cheeks. It's such a weird feeling. Like I didn't know that swelling was liquid for some reason, but it literally feels like a little like water bed, water bed, or like I don't know. Also, my neck is really kind of sore. So I haven't really been like doing anything down there because it's kind of like sore to the touch. But for not washing my face for literally a week, I'm honestly surprised at how well my skin is doing. I'm literally just taking the towel and just like cradling my face with it. Kind of like how they do like a facial. They just like 
maybe doing this procedure will actually help me be a little bit more gentle with my skin. Because whenever I'm drying my face, I'm like, you know, I'm like, let's just be a little bit more gentle. Putting on products, let's be a little bit more gentle. Okay. I'm also going to wash my hair today because it's, it's the worst it's ever been. <laughs> I've gone like 30 days without washing my hair. It's crazy, I know. But it's been one week and I've never had grease like this in my hair. Um, okay, then I'm going to do the um, silver gel. I'm going to do like two, probably three pumps of that. And again, just like pat it into, pat it into my skin. I'm a little bit more rough up here just cause they didn't do anything up here. So just fucking feels weird. I don't know how many times I can say that. Probably like take a shot every time I say that. And then I'm gonna do one or two more pumps. And then I'm just gonna like, oh, it kind of feels like I got strangled. I don't know what that feels like, but I'm gonna let that dry for two or three minutes. And then I'm gonna go in with the Elastin Skin Nectar. Cause I finished both the books that I was reading. And then my friend Nicole gave me where the crawdads sing, or something like that. Put on my story, and a lot of people were saying that it's a really hard book to get into, but when once you get into it, it's really good. I'm not there yet, you know. Like I am, I'm a beginner reader. I've only read two books like in the past five years. So this is the Elastin. So I'm going to keep that one on the back burner and I'm going to get a different book. I'm either going to get reminders of him because I heard that it's like a really cute like kind of tear jerker or possibly the guest list or the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm going to take one more pump and specifically just Focus that on the neck area. Then I'm gonna let that sink in for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go in with this Elta MD UV Daily Broad Spectrum SPF 40. Um, this is the non-tinted version. I use the tinted version pretty much every day in my normal life, um, but I didn't really need the tinted version, so we did the non-tinted. I'm gonna do two pumps of that. And that's it guys, that's the routine. I think that's the routine for at least another week. Until all of this like swelling goes down. is the Glossier Rosemond.com. I'm ready to take on the day, guys. I will say that I definitely like the tinted version of this a lot better. But whatever. Alright guys, and that's the finished skincare routine. Um, I'm going to go get a juice, go to Target, and then do some work. And it's Friday, so happy weekend. I think Delaney and Clayton are coming over tonight, and we're just going to, like, hang out and make some pasta and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in the next check-in. This is day nine. Mm-hmm. 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 
All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here just because I I can already tell that it's already going to be long, but there's a ton of information that I wanted to give you guys um, about like the healing process and everything. But going forward, it's just going to be kind of repetitive. I am back eating pretty much anything, um, washing my face as normal, doing my skincare that they gave me. Um, I'm going to wash my hair. Literally, John's like drawing me a bath right now so that he can help me. Um, the stitches are out. So I think that I'm cool with ending the video here. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the um, comments below and I will try to answer as many as I can. Um, also, I have daily updates over on TikTok. I'm definitely going to continue to update you guys in future vlogs about the process and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm actually really, really, really happy already with it. I can tell just like, like look at the projection already and I'm still so swollen. I mean, I look like a fucking cabbage patch kid, guys. Like today was the first day that I went out without my like wrap on just for the security of like, being like this person looks a little bit crazy out in the world um but i didn't even go out with that today so you know i think in a, another week i'm gonna be back to looking like normal like slash okay and then in three months he said i was gonna be looking like pristine so yeah very excited about this entire thing and thank you guys um for following along on this journey um but i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one